Hey everyone, Merrick here, and we're back in Forsaken Isle, and we got an update. So you might notice that lighting looks a little bit different. Shadows are a little thicker, a little more pronounced, and torchlight doesn't go as far as it used to. And apparently, animal spawning has changed a bit too, because now we're getting animals in the actual base. So let's go clean those up. Included in the update, along with updates to the lighting engine, is the ability to have multiple save files. So now when you load up your save, you'll have the actual option, or the, the ability I should say, not necessarily the option, to have multiple games running at the same time. So if I wanted to experiment with things off camera and not affect the save, I could do that now. So that's exciting. The other thing is, in this episode, we're going to try to build some stairs and upgrade them to the third level and go ahead and just, you know, bite the bullet and see how far down we can get. First, let's do some munching and show off some of the stuff I changed. Now, PK, an awesome subscriber, suggested that we try cultivating some oranges on this level and see if we can grow something. So I extended out our base. Uh, dug up the dirt, and then walked on some oranges. Alright, let's put that one back down. Dug up the dirt, replaced it so that it was actually dirt tiles and not this purple stuff, and then planted some orange seeds. So we'll see if these grow, and if they do, we'll have a nice way to put food on the level, which keeps us down here longer. Okay, so... That's exciting. Of course, now we have a metric shit ton of spiders to deal with, so let's go out here and do this. But our Azurite sword is freaking awesome. We hit like a tank now, which is great. We don't have the range of the Weber, but you combine that with the Weber, and we've got an all-around solution to dealing with these guys. Alright, but for now, let's sit back upstairs and build some actual stairs. So let's see, what do we need for stairs? Uh, just a basic set of stairs is 10 planks. I have 23, so we've got plenty of planks. So we will need, what's that, iron ingot for that, so we'll take some coal. Got plenty of coal, so we can do this fairly easily. An iron ingot. Let's go ahead and use our gold to make a gold ingot. I got three gold, which should just be enough. I hope this works, it isn't a waste. Alright. We'll check out the recipes in just a second. I'm going to put all this valuable stuff back away. There we go. Alright, so what did we get? I don't see it. There it is. Gold ingot. Fantastic. Okay, so... Stairs. Hmm. What were the advanced stairs? One set of stairs and five iron ingots. Uh oh. I think we're gonna need a lot more gold. Oh yeah. That's gonna suck. There's five iron ingots. So we got a set of stairs. There's our level two stairs. So yeah, I, we're gonna have to go harvest a crap ton more gold. So let's put this away. Let's put the stairs right below there. Put that away, put the coal away. All right, so now we have our mission. Go out and find stuff for stairs. Let's put some food away. I think we've got plenty to go on this little mission here. I would like to eventually deck out with some Azurite armor, or a helm at least, but I think I'm going to save it for now. I'm going to cook all these bat wings up though. That will be useful. And we can put the spider fangs there, and the worm there. Sorry about the inventory management, but it's got to be done. Alright, I'll put the feather here. I had it somewhere else, I'm sure. I just don't remember where and don't want to run around and look for it. Alright, put the bone away. 
There we go. We've got 31 oranges, 36 pineapples. We're going to cook a buttload of bat wings right down here. I'll also eventually build a fire pit for the next dungeon down so that I can make torches or light torches and cook down there but for now we'll skip it. I do want to store my bow. I don't need that on me. Let's see what does a fire pit take? Does it take logs or sticks? Logs. Yeah we'll just we'll just go out and, and bust some heads first. Alright also the Dirk's animation is broken now. So now this is what the dirk looks like. And it seems to swing a lot slower than it used to. Not a fan. But bugs are bound to happen. Oh, here come some friends. Hello, friends. Are they not shooting anymore? Or have I just become invincible? I'm okay with becoming invincible, honest. Oh, blue slime. So we need to hunt for gold. I'm gonna let him hit me and see if I take damage. I'm not taking damage anymore. Look at this. I have become a god. I'm not gonna complain about not taking damage. In fact, I'm gonna pretend I take damage so that the developer doesn't fix that issue. Because, hey, I don't take damage. Alright, I'm going to use the iron pickaxe, see if we can get through this a little bit faster. It does not look like we can. Uh, don't want to waste it then. Maybe that hits harder and lets us through here. Nope. Doesn't make it any faster. Not enjoying this. Bugs! And not the spider kind, although we do some crazy damage with this. The Azurite Sword is wonderful. Fantastic investment. Ah, our oranges grew! Wonderful! Now we have an easy way to replenish our food. We are aggroing from forever away. That's new. Okay, so we got this slow, steady swing that we have to deal with, but that'll be alright. Let's pop down some torches. Now, we're going to let him see if he can hit me. Oh, he can. Okay. Alright, so we can get hit. It's just only by certain things? I'm not sure. Oh, we swing fast with the torch. So that's, that's good. Let's get this iron. We need the iron. And let's head down. Oh. Hello, friends. I have a new toy for you. It's called my sword. Meeting your face. Alright. Oh, that guy shoots. Well, I could shoot too. Pew! Pew! I still love the Weber, but I think that the Weber is really good for surprise attacks and long range attacks. And the Azurite sword is really going to be my focus. I don't know, melee just seems a little bit more fun right now. I'm sure all that, that opinion will change very quickly. I don't want to walk up all this water right now. That's going to take forever. Ah, get out of the water. Stop splashing around like some sort of goop. We got torches to lay, gold to find. No time for splashing. All right, it does seem like enemies have a harder time getting to you to hit you. I wonder how long that bug will last, because it's kind of handy, especially since we're aggroing from super far away now. Look at this! Look how far away they are. They're coming straight for me. So yeah, there have been some bugs introduced with this latest version. I'm not sure what I think about them yet. Are you going to shoot at me? No? Alright. 
okay. Well, there's that. Yeah, this is this is not working as intended, I'm sure. Also, am I still wearing my mushroom? I'm still wearing my mushroom, but it seems like the light really isn't as effective as it used to be. Alright. And I'm not getting much sound either. I don't know. Things have, have been updated. I, I think it introduced some some bugs that may not have been intended. But hey, we'll deal with it. We'll work with it. Just means I have to entertain harder. Okay. Oh. Little ghosty friend here. Not seeing any gold. Really could use some gold. I need four million more pounds of gold. That's a reasonable number. There's some coal. I think that's copper, but it might be gold. I don't know. We'll dig it up anyways. It's not like they can hurt us or anything. Hello, friends. Have you come to see the blue stick of truth? Well, the truth is, it hurts. All right. Let's see here. Dig that up. Ah, gold. Gold. I love gold. Gold is fantastic. All right. More gold. That's what we want. We have a, we have goals here that involve gold. Hmm. Very limited lighting in some areas. So it's clear that walls now affect light, which is a good thing. So I'm kind of glad that that's in place. I just have to get used to this new lighting engine. Makes things darker, a little more muted, which isn't a bad thing. We're in a dungeon. It's supposed to be dark and muted. I'll put that down right there. We'll need to make some more torches. Not a huge deal though. Well, this is seeming a whole lot less frightening now that, well, I mean, while we aggro everything around us in, in just like a massive aggro radius, it's, it's, I, I'm not too worried. Uh, so we're on easy streak right now, so I really do, I really want to get down to the second level and see if this easy streak basically continues down there and if so we can get some exploration done before you know murder mode gets turned back on all right you get to die because you're my friend that's what friends do right they hit each other with the jurite swords no I'm pretty sure it is Pretty sure. I do like that it's a that you can kind of see now the outlines of people before you run up on them. If you're paying very careful attention, that is. Can I put a torch there? No. Okay, I can't reach it. There's one of the mushroom bros. Don't want to deal with you. Don't want to deal with you. Not yet. Oh, wrong button. Get me a mushroom. You know, I complained about how loud that sound was when you hit people, but now I kind of miss it. Yep. Nope. Hello. How are you? Good? Yeah? How's your mushrooms? They doing well? Oh, you're dead already. I'm sorry. I'm not. I just want him to think that. Okay, so apparently those rocks are just mushroom rocks. They don't do anything. I'm going to stop hitting them. Yeah, those are just normal rocks. So I don't need to harvest those. Alright, noted. Because if an azurite pick isn't getting anything extra out of them, there's nothing to get. At least not yet subject to change with any update. Oh, 
Well, that's nice up here. Got a nice little place. Nice little mushroom friend place. We'll be clearing this all out one day. Just coming through and clear cutting it. You know, making it a parking lot essentially. That's a free service I provide to all caves. It should make everybody so much happier. You can see for days. I will have found all the treasure. Just everybody wins. And I like winning, so... You're just gonna have to let me do that. Okay, so I'm not gonna stand around and, and fight these guys. We're gonna run around a bit more. I need more gold. That's not gold, but I'll take it. Yes. Because iron is just as important as gold. You pay the iron price, they say. Oh, starving. The real enemy right now, food. Alright, we're going to swap out for some oranges for the last few bites. Get a little bit of healing action going on. You, you came all this way? Oh, that's sweet. You just want to hug? I don't want to hug. Go away. Alright, we're back in spider land. Let's see if we can find some gold in here. Let's, let's keep heading up. Okay, let's not keep heading up. Alright, now bad things happened to us in this area in the last episode, but we were also apparently much more vulnerable than we are now. So let's see what happens. There we go. Two strikes and they're dead. I like that. So oh, there is a path here. Fantastic. Well, we will light this bad boy up. Let's see what we can see. Five more torches left. All right. <sighs> Ooh, there's an emerald. All right, now we're just going to start killing because we only got one torch left. Hmm. Don't want to go up there, but it's spawning spiders, so we'll have to kill that eventually. So what I'll do is, is off camera, I'll come back and torch up the place a bit more. But I think we're getting close to having enough gold nuggets to to build our stairs. So I think the next resource node of gold we find. Do I get more light from my torch if I hold it? No. Okay. The next resource node we find full of gold, we will uh, head on up and see what we can do about making progress on that little goal. Okay, I don't want to dig through that. Hopefully Azure Right lasts for ages. I would think they would since they're such a high tier weapon. Or high tier mineral material, whatever it is. But you never know. Uh, there's a ruby. I will harvest you. Not two wax from an Azure Right pickaxe. Did that just fine. Very nice. It feels like daytime is trying to come in down here because I could see through a lot of these shadows. Which is a little disorienting. Alright, there's some more coal. Not really what I want to dig up right now. I will dig up the coal eventually, so don't worry about that. Just right this minute, I don't really want to spend some time digging up the coal when I have hundreds of it already upstairs. Okay, come on. Here's our traditional mid level hiccup. Alright, I am stuck in a little area. 
<sighs> now I miss all the torches I had, so let's dig our way through here. If we can, I guess we can't with that. Let's go with you. I'm probably going the longest, most infuriating, and inefficient way, but there we are. Oh, hey. Hey, you weren't supposed to be able to hit me. Guess they can hit on an angle. That's nice to know. Do some eating. Back up. Clear that. Oh. Not Tilda. Number one. Okay, so we're back down here. Let's head south a bit more. See if we can't find a little bit more gold. If we can't, we'll go see if this is enough. I don't know what the ratio is. I probably should, you know, memorize that, but I haven't yet. And we'll see if we can't create something. All right. There's some water over there. This is an uncharted area. There are a bunch of rocks over here that may be resources we need. I don't know. If we can get down that way. I do like the glow seeds showing me the way. Of course, this looks like it's all hemmed in with rock. Yep. Okay, so we gotta dig our way through here. Fantastic. Digging simulator, go! through. Let's hit our little mushroom friend. Bye mushroom friend. And you're just stuck in this little one room. Well son of a bitch. I didn't want to be in one room. I want to find gold, damn it. Yeah. Alright, I'm sure if this is enough gold everybody's sitting there yelling at me going, hey moron, you've got enough gold. Stop wasting time. But I'm not sure, and I can't hear you. And I don't have high hopes about this room. And yeah, just a bunch of rocks. Ooh, there's a pathway. And a resource node over here that is rocks. And there's one over there that might be gold. I wonder if I can just walk around to it. I don't think I can. We'll try cutting through here. Uh, let's see, that did not do it. Is it thinner over here? Looks like it. Okay. Yes, gold. Fantastic. We'll go grab that ruby and then we'll make our way back to the, back to the home. Well, at least we haven't just died over and over and over and over again like we did last time and I have to do a bunch of suicide runs to get all the stuff so yay you're not dying Woo! Woo! <laughs> all right we should be able to har harvest some oranges when we get back Let's see if that worked out That'll be exciting. I like oranges. I'm interested as to why they have such a hard time attacking now. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, uh, I passed up the base. Back down. We gotta go through this cut right here. And Donald tells me that we can fill this in, the, those gaps with uh, dirt and floor tiles so I might do that eventually I like kinda having the gap around the base for now I don't think anything can shoot across it and if they can I'll definitely fill it in and put some fencing up but it's kinda neat looking I may fill this in right here so that we can cut across in fact do I have dirt I don't but I have floor tiles somewhere 
that I'll bring down for that. But let's let's get out of the way of these guys and go harvest our oranges. Ah, uh, this is great. This is actually really great. Having the ability to just grab oranges down here is fantastic. Probably a little bit broken, but I don't mind. Uh, that's torches. We don't want to put any torches down here. Do, 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 do. Fantastic. We are all set to go back up here. Grab our other gold nugget. And we're going to grab our other gold bar and the stairs as well and see if we can't just knock this out all at once. Alright, you. You. We're going to go all gold bars. Wow, that's just barely enough. Oh, we got a new recipe. Ooh, gold plate. Ho ho ho. Okay, it's very tempting, but I don't want to waste it. It's it's too rare, and if this is what it takes to get downstairs further, that's what I want. Well, shit. That wasn't it. Maybe it's just regular stairs and not another tier of stairs. There we go. So let's try that. All right, regular stairs. Gold. Yep, that's what it was. Ooh, <laughs> I'm excited. All right, so we don't need these these second tier stairs. We'll we'll throw them down here. Um, that was just a learn a lesson learned. You don't have to step up in tiers like that. Okay, so here we go. First venture down into the bottom pits of hell. I'm going to put the valuables away so if we die instantly it's not a huge loss oh and we don't we don't want to lose the spider home okay are we ready here we go wow right next to a resource node I don't I don't see any baddies but this is definitely a dungeon it's some sort of green thing uh, um, Give me you. Ooh, raw amber. I saw something moving. I will push you with my dirk. I'm not going to explore too much, but I do want to get some of this, whatever this is. Oh, gold stairs are awesome. That's going to be fun to explore. But that will have to wait until later. We got some cursed ore. And some amber, which is exciting. New things. I like new things. I can make a cursed ingot. I can only imagine what glorious things would come from something that says cursed ingot. And we can make cut amber. So we're going to have to start doing some jewelry making. Donald says he's made some interesting rings and stuff. So we're going to have to go down that path because that's going to be really exciting. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing the new things that we discovered. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments or you want to show off anything that you've done or have any tips or advice for me on how to better dominate the dungeons that we have open, fill in the comments section below and I'd be happy to hear from you. If you haven't subscribed and you want to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button. YouTube will be kind enough to let you know when I get fresh content up. All that being said, I'll see you next time.